Hi everybody, Dana Schof, editor of Civil War Times Magazine, back again with Melissa Wynn, director of photography behind the camera. Well, I said we'd be back quickly in a couple minutes, and I wasn't kidding, because we've just walked a few steps to the west, and this will be our final broadcast for today. We feel lucky we've managed to get some things on air because of what we've been facing. But you know what I wanted to do is just let you enjoy this beautiful view of the battlefield because we are fortunate, Melissa and I, we live close. We could get up and see the battlefield when there's snow on it. And I know some of you live far away. So I'm gonna step out and she's gonna do a slow pan, but what you're gonna see starting on the left, you're gonna see the John Weikert Farm and Farm Lane. She's gonna pan across. You'll see the rectangular monuments to the United States regulars. Munchauer Hill, as some people call it, or the northern extension of Little Round Top. And just hold, hold it there, Melissa, because I want to get out. And then she's going to pan across Little Round Top itself. You'll see Big Round Top as well. And then she's going to end up, you're going to just see over, just if you could just see over the lip, you would be in Devil's Den. And I just wanted to sort of give you a, I don't know, moment of zen, if you will, and let you uh, just sort of enjoy this amazing, beautiful view as the snow uh, comes down on, uh, the, the sun shines across these snow-covered fields, I should say. So go ahead and start on the left, Melissa. Just give it a nice... I hope you enjoyed that. It is so quiet here and still. I mean, you just hear a few birds and not much more. And um, I find visiting uh, battlefields compelling in any season of the year. Uh, but coming to battlefields in the wintertime, for some reason, I find it the most compelling season actually to visit the battlefields for some reason. It's just so quiet and stark. The monuments are, uh, you know, easy to see with the snow and, um, it's, it's, it's just really something. And I'm so caught up in this subject. I've been studying my whole life. It, it, uh, never feels old coming to a place like this. And, um, I certainly appreciate incredible views like this and I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in today. And does anybody want to say a final hello or any comments, Melissa? Yeah, absolutely. Ryan Kaiser is on now. Hey, Ryan. Uh, Sharita Bittercoffer is here as well. Long time, uh, mm -hmm. frequent viewers. We really appreciate it. Yeah, Chris Gwynn is on. Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. Sorry we missed you. Yeah, we missed you. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt Locke is here. Hey, Matt. Um, Tom Shea, he said the park sure looks empty today. Not many people here. No. Not many people here. Uh, Tim Dunkel, uh, Scott Schuster is, uh, hello from Houston, Texas, he oh, says. Great. Great. And Anthony Bordner is here in Gettysburg. Oh, fantastic. Well, I thank all of you for tuning in and putting up with our uh, our tech glitches. So <laughs> I hope that you're, the audio has been uh, good the last few, okay? Thanks, everybody. And I do want to tell you that I think it's March 7th, right? I believe that's so, our yes. next first Monday. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, March already. <laughs> um, and we're going to be traveling a little further from home for that particular broadcast. And if all works out, we're going to have a particularly special guest with us. So I hope that you will join us for that and keep that in mind on March 7th. And we're not going to delay that one. So um, I hope that I see you all then. And until then, this is Data Show. And Melissa Wynn from Civil War Times Magazine signing off from just west of Little Round Top on the Gettysburg Battlefield. <laughs>